Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing this new Broken Mortar deck. It's not really new, but it's finding its way back into the meta ever since the Evolution Mortar came out. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm in the first game here against Batman. <laughs> I'll just go for my Miner plus Goblin Gang here, just because he doesn't have his login cycle. It's a pretty fun Mortar bait deck, actually. I really recommend you guys give it a try. It's pretty fun and pretty good in the meta as well. It's really good at punishing your opponent's mistakes. I'll have my minion horde ready if he wants to go for the hog rider. I think he's going to firecracker behind it, so if he does it, I'm going to predict the firecracker with my cannon cart. I'll wait though to see what he wants to do. Okay. He's not really doing anything. He's probably going to hog with that ice spirit. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'll minion horde here. He's going to firecracker, so I'm going to cannon cart the bridge. Oh, nice. Okay, wait, I think I just won. He has zero elixir. He went hoggy Q into a cannon cart. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, he has nothing for the cannon cart. Ice Spirit, Cannon Cart still alive, walks up to the tower. And that actually should be towered down right there. <laughs> let's go. I actually just read this guy's mind so hard right now. And tower down, let's go. Well, I guess it's going to be game, so I'll see you guys in the next game. I'm in the next game here against Clem. I know this guy's the E-Giant Mother, which arrows NATO Fireball player. I don't really know how I'm supposed to win this matchup when he has arrows NATO Fireball. <laughs> Bro has every spell in the game he needs for this deck. And he also has Golden Knight Mother Witch, as if he didn't already have enough counters to bait. I'll just go for my minion horde here, and I'll have my miner ready. Okay, actually Mother Witch is over there. Really nice Mother Witch by him, actually. I'll just go for the miner on top of it, though, just to take care of it. I don't want to put the miner behind the Mother Witch, because then he could NATO it to the King Tower, and I don't want to give a King Tower activation too early if I don't have to. He just splits the barbs in the back. I'll go for my cannon cart towards the three barbarians. Okay. This should be all right for me. He's going to have to defend my cannon cart. Okay, he actually just goes E-Giant the bridge. I'll go for my mortar. Pull over the E-Giant. I can go for my goblin gang. Oh, that was a really good golden knight. No way. <laughs> no. Okay, I have to go for my defensive miner here and retarget the golden knight. This is actually kind of okay because he has to waste all of his elixir on the left side to kill the golden knight. I mean, to kill the cannon cart. And now he has nothing for the right side. He's really low on elixir. And if he goes for the arrows... Or the tornado, he'll have nothing for the minion horde at the bridge. He will he literally have zero elixir in his hand. Yeah, I actually end up getting more damage than he did. <laughs> How did that work out better for me? That's that's like a mystery right there. He has Mother Witch in hand. So because he has Mother Witch, I'll go for my spear goblins on the left, because I'm just gonna log the Mother Witch now and Oh, Mother Witch is gonna die. Perfect. I'm not going to mortar because I know he has evil barbs and I don't have a way to kill the evil barbs because they survived the fireball. I'll just set up my cannon cart the back. Cannon cart is really good in this matchup. Okay, he actually just splits the evil barbs. I'll go for my defensive mortar. I'm looking pretty good right now, actually. Just need to be careful of the mother witch. I'll go. For, oh, that was a good NATO. I'll just go for my miner here on the tower. Just try to get some chip damage and then I'll spear goblins for the barbs. I'm going to have to set up a really good defense here. I have to be careful of the golden knight. I'll just start up my cannon cart in the back. Cannon cart is so broken against E-Giant. <laughs> it's like a musketeer cannon combo for f only five elixir. I'll go for my high evo mortar here, and then I'll just fireball this back as well. I'm going to go for my spear goblins down low just to snipe down the phoenix. He had to waste his barbs on my evo mortar. <laughs> evo mortar is so broken. It already took care of the barbs. I'll just minor here with this. Nice. Spear goblins on tower. He just goes for the mother witch, but the pig is going to die to my cannon. Okay, that's two logs and a fireball. I'll just set up my cannon cart. I'll go for my low defensive mortar. That should kill the mother witch. Okay, I'll goblin gang here too because he has to... Oh, that was a really good ability. I'll log. One more log and one more fireball will take down the tower. So I just need to stall. I'll minor the tower here to try to get one hit. And if I don't get the hit, I'll just wait for my log. Okay, yeah, he's fighting for his life right now. <laughs> I'll just minion horde the bridge. I'll fireball. And then I can just go spear goblins. And now I'm back to my log, and that will be good game. Let's go. I'm in the next match here against Patron Arden. I'll just cycle my log to kill the E-Spirit and get some tower damage. <laughs> RG players, man. I'm just going to give him the well played. RG players have no brain, man. Just going Royal Giant in the back first play. When have you guys ever seen a skillful RG player? Probably been years now. RG players just do whatever they feel like. They play with their feet, and they can still win. I'll just miner here so he can't fish him in my cannon cart away. Then I can go for my low spears and high gang. No way that gets a hit. Wow. 
No way that got a hit. <laughs> I literally put my whole deck on that card. It's okay, though. It's not the end of the world. Only one hit. Okay, those Spear Goblins are actually going to get a ton of damage. Nice. I could even maybe go for... Okay, I'm going to go for my Defensive Mortar here. Evil RG already. That's why they RG the back first play, just to get to the Evolution RG instantly. <laughs> I can go for my Defensive Cannon Cart on the side here. Cannon Cart is so broken against RG. That's why this deck is so good. I'll go for my Minion Horde here on top of the RG. Okay, that was a bad bar barrel. I can go for my Spear Goblins safely now. He has no way to touch them. Okay, yeah. I think I need to go for the Log as well to take no hits, but that's still a good defense overall. Ooh, nice. No hits. Perfect. It almost got a hit, actually. I think I could go for a Mortar on the right side lane. I don't know if I want to do it, though. Could be a little bit risky. I think it should be okay, but I'll just go for my... Okay, I'll Gang here for the Fisherman and the Lumberjack. Not really the best... Lumberjack by him. Now I can definitely go for the Mortar. Okay, I wanted to do it as soon as possible so I wasn't able to afford the RG. I think he's going to be able to afford it anyway. Oh, nice! He barely wasn't able to get it down. I'll go for my Minion Horde now. He doesn't have any Elixir for the Fireball because he put that as soon as he hit 6. He gets one hit. Okay, see what he does here. He just goes for the E-Spirit. I'll go for the Miner, force him to waste his, like, his, fi his Fireball or something. Okay, he goes for the Phoenix. That's still good. I get a ton of damage and pretty much kill the Phoenix. That's perfect. I'll just cycle my Spear Goblins in the back. Okay. I'll go for my Cannon Cart. It's so weird to put my Evolution Mortar on defense. I always want to attack with it. Okay, he actually just goes for RG Lumberjack at the bridge. This guy hasn't done a single skillful play yet. I'll go for my Minion Horde. Just force up the Fireball. I can go for my Spear Goblins on top of the RG. What is this guy doing? I'll just log here on the right, pre-log to Skellies. Nice! What a nice prediction log on the Skeletons. <laughs> I'll go for the Miner on the left side here to support my Spear Goblins, and I'll Goblin Gang too, since he has no Barb Barrel. Okay, great. I forced out the Fireball. Now I can go for Mortar, and then I can just Minion Horde on top of the RG, and he can't do anything about it. Okay. Oh, the Mortar's on Tower. Nice. Okay, I'm going to Minion Horde here. He has no way to kill it. He only has Phoenix East Spirit. Yeah, he goes Phoenix now. He's so low on Elixir, he's literally putting everything as soon as he gets it. <laughs> I only need a tiny bit more damage to finish off the game. I'll go for the Miner here to support my Spear Gobs. I'm not going to Goblin Gang. Okay, he actually catches the Miner. That was good. I'll just go for the Log here. Okay, I only need two Fireballs. Any RGs to back. Okay, I'm going to Fireball. Spear Goblins to Bridge. That's one card. Okay, he actually didn't even give up. Oh, okay, I don't know why he didn't give up. He just should have. No point to keep playing from here. I'll just Miner pull back the Lumberjack. I'll go for the Log, knock this back. I can Goblin Gang and then finish off the game with a Fireball. Very nice win there. I played that really, really well. Just really managed his cycle into Elixir really good. He was never really able to get a good push off. <laughs> I'm in the next game here against Nexus. I'll just go for my Mortar. Okay, I'll log on the Goblins as well. And Goblin Gang here to catch the Barb Barrel. <laughs> okay, I also forced up the Fireball and I still get a Mortar hit. Mortar is so broken. I'll just go for the Minion Horde here on top of the Fisher. He has no Fireball. He has to go for like a... Hunter or a Monk. I know he plays with the Monk version of RG, so should be a pretty fine matchup for me, actually. I find the Monk version of RG easier than I do Ghost or Lumberjack. Just because Monk, like, whenever I Cannon Cart into the Monk, it just turns it into a Cannon, so, like, I just have an extra building on defense, so it's not even bad. I'm gonna go for my Spear Gobs in the back here. Just want to be a little bit more passive. Maybe I could go for a Mortar with them. Nah, I'll just go for the... Okay, he goes for the goblins in the back. That was good that I waited. I'll just go for my miner here now. Spear goblin should do a pretty good job taking care of this. I get some chip on the tower as well. Interesting monk by him. I don't really know if I agree with it. I'll just go for the cannon cart into his monk. RG the opposite lane could be pretty annoying for me. Okay, just RG's the bridge. I'll go for my gang here, and then I'll go for my high mortar. Just want to... Wait, what was that monk ability? He did it so late. Wait, that didn't even kill the cannon cart or the goblin gang. That mortar's on tower. That's going to get at least one hit. He goes for the bar barrel. I'll just go for the log here on it. Nice. He, I'm going to go for my spear goblin so he can't e-spear it. Oh, nice. That was such a good e-spear prediction. Let's go. Already got all this damage. It's pretty much game already. He's already at 1,600 health. <laughs> Let's go. Another reason I love this deck is because I always get these like super nice predictions on people. And usually whenever you predict someone with this deck, it's really bad for them. Like, it's really punishing. I'll go for my cannon cart the back here. Just take care of that monk. There's no way he goes for an evolution archie at the bridge behind this because of what happened last time. I just can't see that happening. I'll go for my gang here just to block the fisher and help kill the monk. 
Oh, I didn't actually block the Fisher. That sucks. Okay, I'll go for the Minion Horde now. Just force him to Fireball. He's gonna have to do it late. Okay, I'll Mortar now. And I can go for my Spear Gobs down low. In this matchup, you really need to abuse your Spear Gobs and your Goblin Gang. You want to put them both low. Because Barbrail doesn't hit them when you put them all the way down here. That's why you see me always putting my stuff down low instead of up top. Okay, I'll go for my Gang here. The only time you put your Gang high is when they don't have Barbrail in hand. Or you really need to kill the RG. But if you have time, it's better to put it low. Okay, I'll just go for my log here. Chip down the Fisherman and just go for my defensive mortar here. Defensive mortar is so good versus RG. I know he's going to pop the ability to try to predict the fireball. Yeah, that was such an obvious bait on the fireball. Monk players always do that. They always put a card in the back and then monk in front of it straight away. Hoping you spell it, then they can pop the ability. <laughs> I'll go for my miner in front of my cannon card. I like doing this play because, yeah, he went for the Fisherman. Now I can just fireball and kill it. And it's not going to pull in my cannon cart. Now that RG's just dead, he can't do anything with it. Okay, I'll just go for my log here, hit the hunter. Just go for my spear gobs, and then I can set up another cannon cart. Against this deck, you guys can see I'm just clogging the lanes with cannon carts, and he can never really make a good push. I'll go for my d defensive mortar now. I'm always putting it here so he can't fireball my good side tower, like my tower that's low. Okay, I'll go for the log here, and then I'll go for my gang. Nice. RG's dead again with no hits. Bro still hasn't really done anything. I'll just go for my Spear Goblins on the Bar Barrel here. I could go for the Evolution Mortar, but I feel like it's just safer to put it on defense. This is kind of how you play against RG. Just go aggressive when you need to, but otherwise, you just go for like a really solid defense. Especially the Monk version. The Monk version is a little bit harder to break through. All of my mine are ready in case he goes for a Monk. Okay, yeah, he put it over there, but if he put it somewhere else, I would have just minored it to the opposite lane. I'll Miner here to pull the Monk behind the RG. Now my Cannon Cart's on top of the RG. That was such a good miner. I'll just go for the spear gobs now. Now I can log to kill the fisherman as well. That evo mortar is going crazy on defense. I'll just cannon cart the back again. <laughs> this guy needs to switch lanes or something. I'll go for my miner and my mortar. Yeah, okay, he finally learned to switch lanes. I'll go for my spear gobs in the back here. And I'll go for my log. By the time the RG comes, they're actually going to be at the bridge. So he could just bar barrel. Interesting monk by him. Okay, I'll go for my gang. He has no, no way to kill this. That's why the gang is so good in this matchup. I'll go for the miner and my spear goblins. My log as well. I can cannon cart, and I can just go for the high mortar to tank both the RGs. He's going to keep supporting this, but that's just a dead RG. I have two cannon carts on it, a goblin gang. <laughs> Damn, that's the third RG. Okay, I'll spear gobs, a log. Now I'll go for the minion horde. Perfect. Just didn't want to let him predict me there. Just kind of had like a weird feeling in my gut. And also, that was kind of the only way for him to come back was predicting a mortar. Literally no other way to win the game. So, knowing that, I just waited. And yeah, he only got one RG hit that entire game. <laughs> that was such perfect and solid defense. Okay, I'm in the next game here against this guy. I'll just go for my mortar at the bridge. I know he's playing a really weird minor wallbreakers deck. I've played against this guy a few times. He has minor wallbreakers, skelly drags, barbs, arrows, log, inferno tower, goblins, minor. So... I'll go for the minion horde here as well. Oh, those are going to connect. Oh, he just... <laughs> okay, that was a really difficult um, start for me. <laughs> it's okay, though. All I need is one good evolution mortar and I can win. That's the thing. Against these minor decks that don't have a big spell, you kind of just play defense and just cycle to your evolution mortar and only go in when you have the evolution mortar. And I pretty much beat the minor cycle decks every time. That's kind of like the only way to play against them, in my opinion. I'll go for the spear goblins at the bridge here. He just goes for the goblins there. I'll just wait for the goblins to lock on, and then I'll go for the mortar. I think he's going to Inferno Tower, so... Okay, I'll Fireball. Never mind. I was just about to predict, but he put those Skelly Drags instantly. Okay, he just goes for the Miner Wall Breakers. I'll Goblin Gang here on the Miner. I know he's going to log, but I don't want to take a whole Miner worth of damage on my tower right now when I'm already down a bunch. My next mortar will be Evolution, though, so that's pretty good. I can always make a comeback as long as you have the evolution mortar. Same with him. As long as you have the evolution firecracker, you can make a comeback. But he has the evolution barbs, so eh. I feel like, I feel like the best evolutions for making comebacks are Evo Mortar and Evo Firecracker. But Evo Barbs might be better than Evo Mortar overall. I'll just cannon cart the back here. Those are really bad barbs in my opinion. He just fed me a cannon cart. I'll just spear goblins here in the middle to pull in the barbs. I'm also gonna support my mortar. Yeah, this is looking really good for me. What does he even do for this? Okay, I'll fireball on defense. Yeah, that was terrible. That's going to kill the Inferno Tower. He arrows, but he doesn't have any elixir to block the middle anymore besides like wallbreakers or goblins. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll go for my miner here. The, those are just going to keep on dying. I don't really know what he's doing right now. Yep, okay, I'm going to go for my gang here at the bridge. I'm going to let that go. Yeah, the mortars on tower. One hit. I think that gets one more, right? I think he gets one more. Yes, let's go. It gave me the extra hit. Okay, I'll just spear goblins on defense. Damn, he's already like two fireballs away from losing. Two fireballs and a log. A mortar, keep pressuring. Wait, those are really bad barbs. I'll just go for the fireball here. And then I'll just go for my log on the miner and the barbs. He tries to go for the wall breakers. Okay, never mind. He put them on the wrong side. <laughs> that mortar is still going to get a hit on the tower. I'll just cannon cart the back early just to set up a defense. Kind of like a wall, I guess, so he can't go in. Okay, I'll miner. I know he's going to pre-arrows, so I'm going to miner and not minion horde. Yep, perfect. Now I can go for the minion horde. He has no way to break through. Let's go. <laughs> that guy got read like a book, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.